Hey, I'm Ian Robinson with MTV News. The rock world lost one of its more honest voices this weekend when Allison Chain's frontman Lane Staley was found dead in his Seattle home on Friday. He was 34. Seattle police say they responded to a call from one of Staley's relatives asking them to check on his well-being since he hadn't been seen in two weeks. Police then discovered a body, later identified as Staley, that had been deceased for at least a few days surrounded by intravenous drug paraphernalia. Exact time and cause of death are still being determined. Allison Chain's haven't been an active band in some years, yet they did surface for a session of MTV's Unplugged in 1996 in what would have been one of their final live performances. Staley's last contributions to the group were two new tracks, Get Born Again and Died, for their box set in 1999. The band's state of suspended animation helped fuel rumors of Staley's ill health and drug dependency. Though Allison Chain's output had diminished, their memory lives on. Some 100 fans, as you can see here, gathered in Seattle on Saturday to honor the singer at a candlelight vigil. Staley is also remembered by his peers, such as Tom Morello, who had this to say about him, quote, I will always remember him as the bright, funny, and amazingly talented singer who got up there every hot summer day in a gorgeous suit and sang like an angry angel. We would laugh until we split our sides arguing about who was more metal. I hope he is now at peace. As for Staley's bandmates, they say they are proud to have known him as well. The surviving members of Allison Chain say that Staley, quote, was a sweet man with a keen sense of humor and a deep sense of humanity. He was an amazing musician, an inspiration and comfort to so many. Meanwhile, Adima has added the Alice in Chains song Nutshell to their live set in tribute to the singer. While memorial plans remain to be announced, Staley's family requests that contributions be made in the singer's name to the East Side Recovery Center at the address, which is below. That's news for now. For more on this and other stories and to read reaction on Staley's death from fans and artists such as Billy Corgan, Adima, and Ann Wilson, and to weigh in with your own ideas, check in with MTVNews.com and stay tuned for more news here on MTV2. MTV News on MTV2.